What are you doing? Tai Chi. It's uh, like a martial art, sort of self-defense. Right, self-defense for bed. Okay. And it helps clear the mind. I could show you some moves if you like. Come on. Just do what I do and mirror me. Breathe. Breathing. And I'm still really angry. My mind's kind of going crazy, so... So feel what you feel. Let it happen. Your thoughts will flow through. And out. Tai Chi is about control. Control of your fear. Control of anger. Once you've got that control, you can face just about anything. Anything? Even the things that make you run away. His records aren't entirely complete. It was a good deal. Well, sorry, Sandra, but I'm booked solid tomorrow. It won't take long. It's just a test his check and bloods. Earliest I can do is Thursday. I'll get it. Hey, uh, look, sorry, Sandra, but I've got to go, OK? Bye. Katrina, come in. Thanks for coming. Can't stay long. I'm glad you're still in town. Loose ends to tie up. Can I get you something? A, a drink? I shouldn't be here, so if you could... I want to apologise. When I first read your letter, I couldn't believe some of the things you said, that I was capable of... Well, you know. But now I can see my behaviour may have been inappropriate, especially as your teacher. So I apologise. The last thing I wanted to do was make you feel the way you did. Right. Well, apology accepted. But I'm still going ahead with a complaint. I'll make the same apology in front of the duty vice chancellor. Look, I stuffed up on my prac because of you, and if you think an apology is good enough. I'm sorry? You made me feel uncomfortable, and I made mistakes. I missed out on a reference and maybe the job of a lifetime. Hang on. You made mistakes because you didn't listen. That had nothing to do with me. Neither of us want to go through with this, right? I mean, the hearings, the publicity. Well, you should have thought about that before you wrote it all down. The thing is, all this trouble should go away, yeah? What, are you going to withdraw the complaint? I don't mean that. I haven't posted the letter yet. Maybe we can come to some arrangement and that letter can disappear. Got bogged. 
Okay, well, I'll get you some spare clothes while you have a shower. You can sleep in the spare room. She won't be back now. It's too late. I should be with Terry. Okay. Well, I'll drive you back. Thanks. Meg, I know I'm the reason Jodie's out there. It's between us. I don't need to defend myself to you. No, I was just, just going to say I'll call you as soon as she gets back. Thanks. She'll be all right. Rob will look after her. Here you go. What? Rob, I can't take your swag. Well, share. I'll take this side. The rest is yours. Thanks. Um, I could stay out here forever. Forever's a long time. I can't go home. I'm never going home. Just suddenly, I don't know who my real father is. All these years, and Mum never said anything. So I just had to get away, you know, somewhere where I could just forget. Yeah. I've got all these questions going around my head, like, did my other father know? And if he did, is that why he walked out? And if Jack thought he was my real father, why didn't he say anything to me? Because I don't really know who I am anymore. It's like I'm watching this imposter walking around calling herself Jodie Fountain, who might actually be Jodie McLeod. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm gonna get as far away from Gungallon as I can. Maybe go to the city. What about all your questions? I can't go back. Well, at least you've got a choice. Some people don't even have that. Something really bad happened to you, didn't it? I'm gonna check on the cattle. Did you find her? I tried. You, you okay? I hurt my ankle. It's not bad. You know, I'll get the ice pack and then I'll, I'll run your path. She'll think I don't care. She'll think I just let her run. You'll find her tomorrow. She can't have got that far. I can guess what you're thinking. Kevin went away. And somehow Jack and uh, I... Yeah, you don't have to explain. And then Kevin came back. Suddenly, I was pregnant. Sounds like Jack was pretty sure she was his, huh? You think I've been kidding myself? I don't know what to think. It's all news to me.